gosh, it's a nourishing experience. It should be nourishing. I think there are varying degrees of love. Uh, I think what I would say about love is that if you love yourself and truly accept yourself, then you're self-sourcing and you're not seeking anything from others to be fulfilling of your love. If you love yourself and are self, -sur like uh, self-replenishing yourself, then you're actually available to love others. Because mm -hmm. if you're loving someone else in an, in an attempt to fill a void inside of yourself, it's not unconditional love and they're going to let you down because no one can do that for you. But if you're completely full of love, then you can share it with others and accept it from others because you're already overflowing with it and you need to get rid of your love because you already love yourself so much. So people want to be around that. Whereas if you're looking to take some love from someone else because you don't feel loved, it's a draining experience to be around because you're constantly taking without like giving it back. So I would say that about love. And the other thing, what else would I say about love? <laughs> I would say that um, your original instincts are also always usually correct. So if you feel like something is in discord with you, you're not being of service to someone else or yourself by living and existing in that, expecting it to change.